What's up, everyone? Choose here. Happy Thanksgiving. Hope that you and yours are doing well. Uh, let's uh, get started. I'm going to attempt to do uh, two meals in one. We'll see how this turns out. Uh, but at any rate, so far, this is what I got. Spaghetti. Went to my mom. She hooked it up. Hot water cornbread. So this looks like, you see how it kind of looks like a pancake, but it isn't. It's cornmeal. Um, collard greens. Coleslaw. And right here on the corner is the prized chitlins. Oh, yeah. And um, we're going to get started. Little, Louisiana hot sauce. Mm -hmm. Well, I haven't opened it. Not really a hot sauce person, but when it comes to the chitlins, oh yeah. Get a little bit on there. I'm gonna try not to go too crazy. So I have to work in the morning and I want to be able to, you know, get there and not have any issues, you know what I'm saying? I got some cranberry uh, diet cranberry grape juice here. I've had nothing to eat this morning, so this should be uh, this should be good. I just hope I don't overdo it. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to cut these chitlins because I don't think I don't know that my mom cut them. It didn't seem like she did. Uh, I have, you know, the containers that the Chinese food comes in. I joked on uh, Swami Boom's live uh, last night. He didn't see it. I don't think that me, my mom and I, we always joke that we're half Chinese because we love Chinese food. Um, she has, there were about nine containers um, that she gave me filled with like Thanksgiving food. And they're all in those containers that you're, you know, orange chicken and Szechuan chicken and sesame chicken would come in. That type of thing. Okay. Been waiting a long time for this. Chitlins, you guys, right here. Mm. Oh, girl. I know something dripped. Hope it didn't drip on my shirt. But she got, she put her foot, she put her ankle in the greens. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my Lord. I haven't had my mom's cooking. Okay. So, something interesting happened. Mmm. If you're gonna make, I'm sorry, before I get into the story, if you're gonna make hot water cornbread, it's good that you have it with something like greens and coleslaw, spaghetti stuff like that or like you know neck bones cabbage mm -hmm. anyway let me tell the story um so you guys if you've been to any of my snack chats my lives or um maybe you have a channel if you're if you're watching and and one of the people who has been a uh, longtime supporter of mine? He's an um, he's a moderator on my channel, and uh, I you know privileged to call him a good friend. Uh, name is LL Cool Zen. I get a text last night saying his faith in humanity has been partially restored.
And I go, what happened in the text? Mm. Oh. Okay. And the, um, oh, mama, you didn't did it. Girl, you didn't did it. Okay. So he said, um, <clears throat> he'd had kind of a crappy day at work and uh, went home to make dinner. For some reason, he didn't like how it turned out. So he decided to go down the road to a Taco Bell. Um, drive, he was in the drive through and everything. And, um, when it got to his turn, I guess he, um, was told by the guy working there in the window that, uh, a young lady in front of him paid for his meal. He said he was taken aback. Didn't really... He wasn't at a, you know, in any kind of point where he needed that to happen. You know what I mean? He could have paid for his to his meal himself. Um, but he said it made him smile. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's what's up. So in turn, he did what you're supposed to do when that kind of thing happens. He paid it for it and paid for the meals of the three cars that were behind him. <laughs> Amazing, right? I was like, wow. That was such a good, good thing to hear last night. And to me, like we were talking, we came to the conclusion that, you know, all of that happened for a reason. Everything happened at the right time it was supposed to. So imagine had you not gone to Taco Bell, you could have gone to another restaurant, or you could have tried to make something else at home. Something drove you there. He's just going to get a meal. Now, I don't know the scope of his day. He just said it was a, a crappy day. He didn't go into any details, but he said it really put a smile on his face. And in turn, it put a smile on my face. It just made me think, you know, possibly the universe's way of saying it's in dire need of some kindness in the world, maybe. Well, that was a great story. So, of course, this morning... <clears throat> I'm thinking maybe I'll try to see if I can bless someone. In my travels. But of course, it's Thanksgiving. <laughs> and most places are closed. Um, most of the, the blocks didn't have a lot of people you know, riding around or walking around. Mm. So, but you know what? It ain't got to be today. It's going to happen when it's supposed to. But it was a really uh, good story I wanted to share and I just wanted to shout out to LL Cool Zim. Ooh. 
this is why I never use this plate, but I broke out the, the good china <laughs> today because, um, you know, my mama's food. But it spins on this uh, wood. Okay. Now. I'm going to attempt to try something. If it doesn't work, this will be the end of the video. But if it does work, this will be part two of the two-in-one dinner. Okay? Cool. Later.